Well, this is a first. We are winching down a rock step. Jeez. looks very interesting a little bit of a change of location after we left our camp this morning that Mount Walker area we've sort of started the trip home back to the mid north coast we've stopped in for one last track at Weenie Creek the south G's G's Arm South Trail I think it's called <laughs> something like that but I don't know, a few, quite a few people have recommended it to me. It's a pretty gnarly, rock crawly sort of track, I think. But keen to have a little bit of a go at it. <laughs> Dad's going to leave his MUX up the top and I'll just bring the, bring the nav down. And he'll sort of be on spotting duties. You kind of got this massive, like, obstacle course at the start where it's pick your death down into the track. <laughs> and then we'll start making our way. It's just a dead end track. So you go out and you got to come back it's out to a little lookout out the end there. Now, as I said, Dad was leaving his MUX back at the start of the track, meaning I had to be self-sufficient and prepared to get my full drive to the end of this track and back on its own with just the winch. Now, for those of you that are new to watching these videos, the Navara is running a two inch lift. It's a nine man lift kit. And then I have two eight five by seven five R16 mud tires on it. They're Nido trail grapplers. It has a rear locker, but no front locker. You're about to come back up a bit. Yep. I'm going to start straighten up a bit. Yeah. You've got a drop down down over now. Yeah, you, you'll be able to watch you know, that rock straighten up a bit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now this track pretty much comes down to rock steps. That's what you're dealing with, rock steps. There's not really any mud, ruts, no big steep hill climbs. Just rocks from the start to the end. Given that you're pretty much just dealing with rocks the whole way out and back, means bar work is extremely important on this track. Rock sliders, bash plates, rear bar, bull bar, all came in to use on this drive. Without them, my car would not be looking too good by the time I finish the track. Just very slow, first gear, low range, rock or rock crawling. Very carefully picking your lines through this track. Crawling? But crawl, crawling. 
we haven't had any drama so far it's been all good we've sort of had to go down a few bits and up a few bits and then obviously it'll be the opposite on the way back having heaps of fun though super fun track through this so far i don't know what else is to come yet we'll find out This track gets a heavy amount of use, being that it is so close to Sydney, big capital, big population, you can see that you get a lot of four-wheel drivers come out here. Now all the obstacles have numerous lines to get up them, you know, some have two, three, four, five, even six lines to get through that section of rock steps. I was generally going for the easier ones. The harder ones were just completely ridiculous with the vehicle I was driving and the easier options, well I say easy, were still ridiculously hard enough as it was. Got a decent sized step here to negotiate. Punch it a bit from here, just to lift that back up. Bit of a big step here to get up. Just punch on, punch this back end up. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Send it. <laughs> As I said before, once you get your front end up. It's not too bad to give a little bit of send to get the back up. It's just the front end you don't want to send up. <laughs> How's that car? Pretty hectic. Here's another one of Dad's dumb decisions now. But uh, this is like the easiest option. So I'm not really making it. Well, I guess I made some dumb decision to go on the track. But... What do you mean this is the easiest part? This is all this, no, this is the easiest way up this monster rock hill. Too bad. There's plenty of grip on these rocks. <laughs> Such so much fun out here.
I think we must be nearly out the end now, must be getting very, very close. We're kind of narrowing out. We've got cliffs on either side of us now. Having so much fun, but just something like exciting about exploring the unknown and doing a track you've never done before, particularly when you conquer it and drive it when it's a challenging track. When you don't have to be pulling the winch out and winching up hills and that, because we did a fair bit of winching yesterday. So I was keen for no more winching today. So I'm pretty happy that I've seen, it feels like I've driven, pretty much driven it all, I think, because we're nearly at the end. The only thing is on the way back, that last section, that first bit we came down, that may be a bit hard getting back up that. Let's we'll see how we go there. The usual story I think. <laughs> I think we're nearly at the end and then there's another bit and then another bit we've still got all this to conquer yet I swear we must be near the end keeps looking like we're coming out to it hopefully this is the last one Just picked a bad, I don't know, I didn't quite get the line I wanted there. I slipped off those rocks and they're just gone bang straight in its belly and it won't go forward, it won't go backwards. So I'm just gonna have to winch it up off it and we'll keep going. A little bit annoying, but oh well. I wanted to drive the whole thing. That's what happens, I guess. I guess uh, we'll just put a few rocks under those back wheels so they'll pick up easier rather than dragging the bottom across the rock. that bit and on our way again a bit annoying there waste a bit of time but we got there now we thought I had to reposition the winch a couple of times to get me up those couple of steps there I just couldn't get the right angle just mucking around a bit and the car just kept bottoming out <laughs> keep cruising and hopefully that's it it's getting late I don't even know if I'll try and pack and drive this because I think I'm going to be winching up it and I've don't want to break anything now. Dad and Kai back there walking. Uh, they're, they're catching up. They decided to walk from that last bit so I'll quickly try and get up while I'm here. <laughs> Running out of light so I've got to <laughs> work fast so I've got to get back out of here. 
maybe I'll try drive a little bit. Dad's at it again. The end. Finally. Now we need to go all the way back. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm way long I talk. Thought that took us three hours. And we gotta get back. So have fun getting back out of this truck at nine o'clock tonight. No, going back won't be as bad because uh, we're going down a lot of it, but yeah. Still going to take a little bit of time. A little bit of time. <laughs> we're out the end what a track <laughs> well i knew it was going to be difficult it was kind of difficult as difficult as what i thought i guess but it's just a lot further than i thought i did not think it was that far out here that's a fair way out here <sighs> sun's just going down still got to get all the way back but we'll sit out here and enjoy it for a little bit hopefully my car's still in one piece <laughs> i definitely did some smashing on some rocks <laughs> You would not want to come out here without bar work or maybe a better driver, better driver than me or sort of a bigger car, I don't know. Sleeping all my life through a digital screen Don't know anybody when they surely know me Wonder if it's true Now we, oh my god, <laughs> another one of my A-grade idiot ideas. Now we get all the way back out of here in the dark. Here we go. just bellied out going down I should probably should have let it roll a bit more of it's so steep I didn't want to like break anything yeah here we go we're coming off it 
so I've had to winch down a rock step, which is an interesting one. But that's what's happening. We're down boys. We're about to go down now. Just shine up the back as the wheel goes down. We're just making our way down all these massive rock steps now, trying to navigate our way down in the dark. That uh, winching off that big rock there was a first, winching down a hill in the dark. We've got like this little handheld spotlight thing I got just before the trip. It's like a little LED light, but without it, this would be painful. You can just light up the car, light up the whole track and see everything's going on. Like trying to use a normal head torch, useless. Anyways, we'll keep going down this track and see how we go. Oh, just that like, literally can see. Straight up a bit. God, you better not be starting. Jesus Christ. Straight up now? Yep. And you'll find your line over to the tree roots. Stay on what you are. Straighten up a bit more again. If you don't want to be going down that far, hook back the other way. Anything, I'm just held a little bit right. This is like <laughs> this is a bit weird, intense. Yeah, yeah. I don't know you on for a bit yet. Get on those three roots. Good. I just gotta work out how to get down this next bit now. We're de oh, we're destructive. <laughs> this is uh, a real experience. <laughs> it's trying to like work lights and communication and everything. It's all happening. done technical four-wheel driving at night in the dark when you're relying on a spotter they can't really see much when you have your headlights on particularly if you have your spotlights on and some bright lights the best way we've found to do it is to turn the car headlights off and then they use a torch so they can talk to you and guide you and tell you where to go but for the driver you can't really see anything except darkness and it can be quite intimidating. 
Nearly there. Last hill, then we're at camp. We gotta get out of this bloody thing, but this could be interesting. I said, don't get too psyched, remember we can always win. Yeah. Oh yeah, what is the time, Kai? 7.30. 7.30. Yep. What time? Five hours. We started our track at two. What time we started our track? Like two something? Like two? It was like 2.40. Or something like that. It's like, it was that late, was it? Yeah. So, anyways, like five hours. Anyways, we're finally out of that track. What a mission that was, but it wasn't too bad. It was actually good fun in the end coming up out of there at night, but definitely an interesting experience doing that track in the dark by my, you know, just the one four wheel drive. We're just going to camp up the top of the track here, set up here for the night. It's too late to go anywhere else. Getting very serious, it's What's your final thoughts on the stretcher after you've been using it for the last 10 days since before that you're sleeping on the swag on the ground? Yeah, it's good to be up off the ground. It's knee height for building and uh, to me it seems like it's great comfort. It's easy to flick open, it takes all of a couple of seconds to flick it open. So, you'll be, so it's much better sleeping on the stretcher than on the ground, you'll be sticking with it? Yeah, I'll be sticking with it the new height. Worth the upgrade. Yeah, most definitely. No, it's been really good. That drive yesterday, Arvo and last night, ended up being such a fun drive. We just camped up the top of the track here, up the top of that hill. We're all packed up camp now and it's the end of our big Blue Mountains Lithgow trip adventure and we're going to make the drive home today. Hopefully the car makes it home in one piece down the highway after yesterday's bashing. But it's been an awesome trip. He's talking to him. Are you talking into it? I can't hear ya. No, I got nothing. Ah, oh, wait, mine was down. Try again. Mine was turned. You good now? <laughs> yeah, I got you now. Idiot. Yeah, come forward on what you are. You're good. 